welcome back everyone so there comes a time when you forget your windows 10 or 11 login password or pin and get frustrated wondering what to do next so you start looking for a video where you need to spend a lot of time with no guarantee that it will work or not but today i will be helping you to create a bootable usb in fact multi bootable usb which you just need to plug into the computer boot with it and then you can easily reset or remove any kind of windows login password or pen so without any delay let's quickly get started so right now you can see i'm on my windows 11 page and it's asking me for the password and when i'm trying to enter it it says the password is incorrect probably i have forgotten or i don't remember the right password and this can be the same problem if you are using the microsoft pin you can apply the same method in order to reset or remove it all right so the bootable usb we are talking about is the iron bootable usb a very popular tool that gives you tons of options not only to reset the password but you can do many other kind of things so bring up any of your favorite browser then you have to search for iron cd you'll be getting the first link you will have to click on it then click on the download from the top menu option and then scroll down to the bottom and here you will find the file name hbcdp x64.iso click on it and the downloading will be started and it's around 3.1 gigabyte so you will have to wait and once the iso get downloaded open up a new tab and search for rufus that will be helping us to create a bootable usb and here scroll down click on rufus 4.5.exe close the advertisement and this will be quickly downloaded click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of dashboard will be up and here on the very top in the device section it will automatically detect the pen drive the usb that you have connected now you must have at least 8 gigabyte of pen drive or usb drive select the right usb then in the boot selection you have to select the iso so once you have downloaded the iron iso click on select then locate to the place where you have downloaded select the iso of the iron that is hbcd click on open volume label if you want to change it you can change it or you can keep it as it is and then finally you have to click on start and it says warning all the data on the device will be removed so if you have any kind of data then you have to take the data back up first and then move with this step so click on ok and it will take some time probably a minute or two so you will have to wait until the bootable usb has been created Right, so finally the bootable usb is ready so now we can click on close and if i bring up the file explorer so you can see that this is the iron bootable cd now and all the required file are inside this usb so now we are good to go just simply plug in this bootable usb of iron into the computer for which you want to remove or reset the password so now i'm on the same computer where i forgot the password so what you have to do now on this login screen you have to look for the power icon at the right hand corner and from your keyboard you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key you need to click on the power icon and then click on restart click restart anyway now you can leave the shift key and this will now bring up the computer in the advanced option so that we can boot the computer with the bios and in the advanced option from here you have to select troubleshoot then click on advanced option and then click on UFI from a setting which will take you to the BIOS. So if you want to go with this method, you can go with this method. But if you want to enter the BIOS using the BIOS shortcut key, then you can also use that method. Now once you come to the BIOS, you have to boot with the USB device. The same USB device that you created as a bootable USB of iron. Hit the enter key. And it will start loading the file. And it will take some time for the first time, so you will have to wait until the files are being loaded okay great so now you can see that we have logged in successfully using the iron bootable cd and it looks like a windows 10 operating system so now once you come up here what you have to do you need to click on the windows icon click on all programs then you need to hold up on security and in the security you have to look for the password and then in the password you will find different kind of software that can help you to reset or remove the password but you have to go with the windows login unlocker that i find the best so click on it and it will give you this kind of dashboard 
So now it will list you all kind of user account that have been created on your computer. So you need to look for the one for which you have forgotten the password or the one that you want to remove. So on my end, the jump is a user account for which I have forgotten the password. So now what I can do, I can simply select it. Now I get different option here. I can restore. I can take a backup. I can bypass it. I can create a new user or I can reset or unlock it. You can also access these options by making a right click here and you can see it says reset password or change password or delete user so if you want to change the password then you can do that but i want to reset the password and so i click on reset password then it says reset the user password jump so i will click on ok and bingo so now you can see the user password reset click on ok and now simply go ahead and restart the computer and this time once you come to the login screen so you will see it give you the option of sign in and it will not ask you any kind of password so let me click on sign in and great now you can see now you are inside your desktop and it will not be asking for any kind of uh, password or any kind of pin so this is one of the best and the easiest way to reset or remove the password on your windows 10 or windows 11 anytime in the future so better create this bootable USB that will also give you many other options to fix uh, many kind of blue screen problem, many kind of uh, data recovery. And it's always recommended that you should have this kind of USB along with you so that anytime you can reset or you can change the password of any computer. And that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video, found this video helpful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.